In the red, we have, don't make him hangry, he's the incredible. E.G. Hawk. The incredible E.G. Hawk. I didn't call him Hawk. Hawk. <coughs> Caw. 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 Is that, mouse is that nerds. a Hawk? Is that no, a no, Hawk? No, no, Hawks don't do that. They go, they go like, Arr! Oh, okay. More like top three awesome. The other two are you and me, of course. Yeah, I know. It's okay. We didn't have to put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone already knows. Yeah. Over here in the bottom left, we have one of the youngest players in the GSL. Exolina. Oh, look at those little nerd fingers go. <laughs> click, 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 click. Sounds like a scorpion talking. <laughs> well, it sounds like a scorpion walking across a glass. Uh, the eight. What? Uh, I want to see the other one. I like that other picture better. That's a bomb with a bow tie at the bottom left. Or kettlebell with a bow tie. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Your kettlebell's on my house. Man. Yeah, I ordered a kettlebell. I'm going to fix my nerd bag. Wow, only 7.5 for Lenoch? Well, this is a hard group, man. I actually... Yeah. I, I I give it that as well. Like, Lenoch possibly can make it out, but... I mean, let's put it this way. He has to right now beat Huck on this map, and I feel like this is going to be one of the absolute hardest maps for this matchup. I, I don't know, man. I look at the architecture of it. It's like, it's hard, man. Did you ever watch The Incredible Hulk or read the comic? Yeah, I watched it. All right, I got I gotta, I gotta vent. Okay, go All right, ahead. here's the thing. Is right, with, I get it. The Hulk gets angry, okay? I mean, the whole character, this whole theme is going to base off, you know, you could use your frustration and anger to control yourself in certain ways, you yeah. know what I mean? You have to let you, you have to, cause sometimes the Hulk gets angry or whatever, and you know, that like, you know, gets angry at the wrong moment. Yeah. So it's about him balancing his emotions, and that's yeah. kind of the theme. But when he turns into the Hulk and he's all green, why are his pants still there? Why are his pants not ripping too? I mean, I know, I guess they, the real answer he, he is we don't. He wears stretchy fabric pants. I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. I think he would actually be naked. I think he would be naked well, with, his, with, his Hulk, I think, with his, I don't know, his incredible Hulk dong hanging out. And I, I think that's what happened. I'm just, it bothers me that it's not realistic. We'll see if he's truly incredible. I think he needs um, to be like... <laughs> well, <clears throat> that is a good point. He should, be look, he should be like Dr. Manhattan and Watchmen. He should just be naked. All right? That's what he should do, man. He should be in touch with himself and just be naked. Yeah. Well, no no shirt, no shoes, no service. He wants to go into 7-Eleven, man. He has to have the pants. Um, yeah. All right, so Huck has actually done kind of an interesting build here. Went double gas before his core, after his gate. And that's not overly common. That's going to be a very heavy gas build. Now, Huck has been known to love to pull his gas. There's a possibility of seeing something like a one gate expand. Uh, in fact, he's got so much money, it looks like he might just straight up do that. Now, this is this is so risky. Yeah. Because, here, let's look at, just to let you guys know, he already scouted Lenok, and he saw the pool, he saw the gas. Uh, Lenox just scouted this. Now, what if Lenox... Yeah, there you go. He's making okay, 12, 12 links. links. So what's going to happen is Lenox going to get up there, and he's going to force a Nexus cancel, and Huck's going to be behind. If you well, see your opponent going for a gas-first build, do not one-gate expand, because you are just flipping coins. So that's... Well, the other thing is that he's not even making the gateways on the low ground. He has, like, no surface area to oh, yes. protect himself. I mean, this Nexus will go down. There's simply no way. I mean, yeah, he's, he's going to force a cancel. There's going to be a cancel. There's, like... There's, what, maybe three force fields left? What? Force is a force field out right there. He's going to go ahead and kill one of those and then force the cancel on the Nexus. That is a bad scenario for Huck. Huck is now way Oh, my way God, behind. he's going to run up the ramp. Yeah, he may just uh, go for the kill. As this game to. actually might just And look at that. Up. Yeah, Huck is completely trapped in here. He is in a lot of trouble. But he does end up killing off quite a few. Lenok making some more lings, but the gateways are finishing. So... Lenok decided to go after sentries as opposed to the Nexus. Should still force a cancel very easily, though, on this. And look at that. Running right oh! up, surrounding. And Huck is in this infinity is, uh, trouble. I think this is actually GG. Yeah, it pretty much is. Get the pylon. And goodbye, Huck. I'm sorry. He's a great player, guys. But he should not yeah, have done the strategy. And that's it. GG. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Fan favorite Huck going down very quickly. But... You know, that is actually something that I will think, happen when you're greedy. I think like like Lenox actually had somewhat disbelief as the way the way that game actually turned out. He's like, oh. All right, Zerlings are good. Oh, yeah, look at uh -huh, that. Chilly, he does have pinchable cheeks. Huck very upset yeah. he's lost. Well, of understandably, course. I mean that's like actually a kind of a novice game. 
That's actually like, what? okay, it's my first time in Masters. What is this like? And then Look, you just get punished for a bad decision. I, I, I got to say a few things about that. I'm, yeah. I'm really sad. Huck's a very good friend of mine. I love his Protoss and all this stuff. Uh, but when you see that your opponent's going speed first and you go one gate nexus, uh, that's nonsensical. It yeah. does not make sense. It's a huge risk. Now, if you're playing against someone that you feel is like 10 times better than you, okay, like you're the worst Protoss in Coda, somehow you're there and you're playing ST, like maybe you just do it. Yeah. Maybe you just like, whatever, I'm going to take this risk because I need to get ahead. Uh, but, I mean, Lenok has already given a big piece of his economy to have speed for his Zergling. So, like, for you to go ahead and be like, well, I need to get this Nexus first when you're Huck against Lenok, you feel like, oh, I'm probably better than oh, this guy you know, anyway. The map, and it doesn't make sense to do that on the map. Exactly. Yeah. The so map is a map where you are going to feel uh, like you are going to win a standard game on it. So you should be going for that standard game. Yeah. Sometimes we have maps, man, that is that are not really great for a matchup. That map is not great for ZVP. It absolutely is not. It kind of forces Muta. So... You know, just go ahead. Bad and build, bad to do against that player. And he scouted uh, it. And so. look, I know that there's a lot of Huck fans, all right? Oh, I'm we're sure Huck there are a lot of non-Koreans so. out there, but he deserved to lose that game. Absolutely. He yeah. should have lost that game. In yeah. fact, if, that, if he won that game, it, it would have been uneasy. Lenox scouted that quick nexus, and he said, okay. And he made a big round of lings, and that was basically... that. Was, no matter what, Huck gets way behind right there, no matter what. Yeah, even if it's canceled, I mean, you're sort of already dead yeah. at this level of, of play. In a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, yeah. So, uh, I kind of unfortunate a scenario, game. but you know, Huck is gonna. Oh, he's actually going up against Nest T. Little bit, little bit of a grudge match. Little scary. With those two. Nest T uh, did lose to Huck uh, before, so we'll see what happens in a little bit here. In about five minutes, we'll be back soon with more action here at the GSL.